Hello what is up guys welcome back to yet another video and in this video I will be talking about the Gigabyte B450M motherboard that is the DS3H F42H model and F42H is the BIOS variant that you will be getting uh, with this motherboard if you are to buy it in December. This motherboard is Ryzen 3000 ready and comes at a very good price point of about 6 to 7 thousand you will be getting it in Indian rupees. So if you are to buy one now, uh, do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and then watch this video till the end because I will be covering each and every uh, pros and cons that I faced with this motherboard in the last one month. So without wasting any further time, as I always say, let's move on to the product. This is the B450M motherboard and as you can see you will be getting around 4 RAM slots dual channel supported and you will be getting 2 graphic card slots as you can see the second graphic card slot is available over there and as you can see I was talking about the graphic card slots are not that much placed well you won't be able to fit the second graphic card into the motherboard uh, if you are using uh, such graphic card which is th which are these much broad and I hope so that if you are planning to buy this motherboard you will be uh, using graphic cards and with the system like such as 3600 you will be using around 2060 Ti or even the 2070 because they are the motherboards that do justice with the processor performance so I would like to comment on that and the ports that are available over here are the fan control ports and these ports are even not spaced really well matlab agar aap logo ko ye wala fan apne port mein connect karna padega wahan pe to you have to have a very long cable or you won't be able to do aesthetically very good build because the fan cable uh, that i have and with the anti sports uh, fan was not that much long so i had to even route it from here or even from there which would make my CPU from inside look messy so you won't be able to do very good aesthetic build uh, because of that uh, fan controller the 4 pin fan controller you are getting so 4 pin fan controller are really essential if you want to have a quiet system when the temperature is not that much but uh, with the Molex connected you will be having an issue that uh, this fan and this fan I am connected with the Molex connector they are always at 100% even if the temperature is not that much high though with Ryzen temperature video I have made earlier and I have explained what are the temperature issues you are going to face and you can find it in the above section and you can go and enjoy that video and get the full knowledge about that video though the video is in Hindi I would like to say it in first so if you are an English viewer don't go and watch that and if you are a from India you can very well go and watch that so that is the thing I was talking about and now even the SATA ports you will be getting four SATA ports into the system but uh, these SATA ports I think that they are routed very very wrong if you are to insert a uh, SATA port from this side you have the cables will be really much molded and won't be doing justice to the aesthetics of the build I myself have routed the cable from here and if I have to insert another cable I have to route it from here and this would just make my PC case look really messy so the port layout is not that much great into the system but you are getting a lot of ports the pros of the motherboard tons of pros you can see onto the motherboard you know right you are having options of 4 USB port USB type 3 port at the back 4 USB 2 ports at the back and if you are going with a very good uh, cabinet you will be getting a very good support of usb 3 and usb 2 even in the front panel so you will be able to connect the usb 3 front panel support and you are having a dedicated slot onto your motherboard so that will just make a very very good feature around 8 usb at the back and around 3 usb i am using in my cabinet right now so i am that makes me around of 11 usb ports that are available onto this motherboard and i use all the ports and still no problem onto the motherboard you are getting three audio input output jacks so that is also a very good thing and if you are using a ryzen 53400g or 2400g with this motherboard you will be getting dvi port hdmi port on the motherboard so the motherboard is feature rich if you are to listening to my video for so long and 
the next thing about this motherboard i found very very interesting is that the software support though it might be an issue for many guys for enabling and disabling if you are not an enthusiast and not that much loving to your system that let me do some tweaking though you will be finding it very very easy i would like to just mention you will just have to install each and every software and this motherboard is ready and go the software that you will be getting with this motherboard are really really helpful in uh, managing your system so i will be telling you about those softwares in detail now so there are uh, numerous software support that you will be getting with the motherboard and you will be having this over here and this is the bios variant and oh, from this side you can update your bios uh, without uh, going from the boot screen that is the first boot that you will be doing you can update your bios and flash memory from here and as you can see this is the f42h bios that i'm using i have updated the bios from the f42 that i have received the motherboard even and uh, this is the motherboard that supports rgb fusion 2.0 if you are going to have the led fans and everything installed onto the motherboard you will be able to change the led and sync it according to the theme of your entire build so this is one cool feature that you will be getting in a motherboard that costs you only around 62 to 6500 rupees in india and this is the siv there here you can use your system to have the calibrations done for the fan the cpu fans and even the fans that are connected onto the you know uh, controller side uh, the fan controller the four pin fan controller you can control all the things from here right now my system is running at 66 degree because i was doing some kind of uh, programming and stuff so editing and stuff because my right now my system is running at 66 degree and the fan is spinning at around 100 percent because i was doing some kind of editing so that is the reason it is running hot at the moment and system alert and everything you can do with this uh, siv system information you and this is a smart backup feature smart time lock and then the e and th this is the easy tune feature this feature and these features are interlinked and the easy tune feature is used for the oc that is the overclocking and as you can see this is oc and this oc and this easy tune will only be enabled if you enable it from the bios menu itself when the overclocking feature is enabled then only you can use it in the software form and this is the fast boot where you are going to have the fast bios boot and ultra fast bios boot which is just going to have the fast booting of the bios into your main system and these are the softwares that you will be getting and managing each and every software and third party software from the gigabyte app center itself and now i'll be moving on to the bios menu and what are the features you are getting into the bios menu all the tweakings and stuff that you can do with the bios menu i'm going to talk about that so guys this is the bios menu and you enter it by pressing f12 or the delete option and you are into the bios version and in the mit you will be getting the advanced frequency setting advanced memory settings and the voltage settings and even the pcs and the miscellaneous settings and here you can see the 3d mark 01 enhancement and the pci slot configurations and the pc health can be here that the cpu core voltage at which it is running right now and these are the voltage settings that you can set for the vcore and everything and the memory setting you have, you have to enable the xmp profile from auto frequency to level because uh, when you disable this option the ram whichever ram you are going to use it is going to run at 2166 megahertz even with the faster ram variants or even any ram so for that you have to enable the xmp profile and after that the system is going to work and this is the advanced frequency setting and this is the setting where you can use your xmp profile uh, and everything for overclocking your system and from here only you increase the uh, everything that is the overclocking feature enable and for when you enter this this is the amd overclocking feature and when you accept it you will be going into the manual overclocking DDR precision boost overdrive is enabled from here once you press the enable button from here then only the precision boost overdrive software will work into your operating system unless the precision boost overdrive will not be working so that is a another scenario but i would suggest that if you are not using any uh, aio or a liquid cooling the custom liquid cooling bends don't use the precision boost onto the amd because amd is always known for its heating cause and as you have seen my system was running at 66 degree only with one window open so 
with the precision boost i think that the temperatures will go up to 90 95 degrees and that is the thermal throttle capacity of the amd ryzen 3500 series and this is the chipset and everything and power always on ac back and you can even uh, power on with the keyboard on and by password also you can you can enter your password and everything these are the features that you will be getting on your system so i will be getting and i will be going on to my system edit this video and show it to you when it is ready in my opinion the system that i built i wasn't planning to overclock it in any of the near future and even if i want to overclock i won't be doing it on a very very high scale level because the cpu i am using is doing the job that i wanted to do in the time i wanted to do so i won't be playing around with my system as i love the system and i don't want it to be harmed in any way possible so i won't be doing overclocking so with that i would like to conclude that if you are not going to do overclocking on your processor go with this motherboard it is a very feature rich motherboard and you are going to be satisfied with the performance you won't be facing any you know issues even the audio quality from the ports you won't be even hearing those hissing sounds due to high voltage and stabilization issues everything is just really fantastic on to the motherboard now there is a silver lining to that if you are going to buy it if you are going to buy it for the dual sli don't go for that the motherboard b450 chipset doesn't support two graphic cards second the four ram slots that are available don't be fooled by the four ram slots because you won't be able to use quad channel with the 450 amp chipset you will be only able to use dual channel so dual channel accounts for 16 into 16 32 gb of ram in 2019 and i hope so that 32 gb is a lot lot amount of memory even if you want to go with the 64 gb then that is another scenario which i would like to say you should go with even with two ram slots uh, that would just do your job so i would suggest that you go with the uh, gigabyte b450m gaming edition one that is available for around 700 more from this motherboard and you will be getting a very good build and heat sinks installed onto the motherboard which this motherboard happens to fail so if you are an enthusiast go with the gaming edition of the b450m a ds3 edge and if you want to just have a motherboard and use your cpu more than your motherboard features then you can go with this this is a feature rich board and you won't be disappointed you won't be thrilled this is just a balanced out motherboard in my opinion opinions differ from person to person in my opinion you can buy if you are in uh, not going to do anything apart from just using your system and if you are someone who is going to just get into the screws and tighten them much go with the tomahawk series or even with the x470 or 570 chipset it is available in the market you can buy that so with that i would just like to wrap things up for now if you enjoyed this video do hit the like share and subscribe button and if you didn't like this video do hit some comments in the comment section let me know what are the responses of the people i am making videos for are they liking my videos or not If you're not liking my videos, I will try to improve. But do use the comment section to engage with me. Till we meet again. Tata. Bye bye. And sayonara.